what's going on adventurers we are currently at an older cemetery uh i believe it's about 1700s ish late 1700s early 1800s so we're gonna go ahead and just do a quick spirit box session we're not allowed entry um the gate is locked but we just wanted to stop by and see if any spirits wanted to talk to us today so we're gonna go ahead and fire up the spirit box all right welcome you guys so we're gonna find out what's uh there's a little history here, spooky history on the dark side. So we're going to ask maybe a few questions to see what's what's the real deal. <laughs> yeah, um, from what I've read, I've only actually seen it posted once. This is apparently um, supposed to contain Dracula's grave, and I'm not really sure why they say that, but maybe the spirits will tell us. All right, guys, so we just arrived at this cemetery. We've been past here quite a few times, but the gate is currently locked. So we are gonna remain on the outside of the cemetery and do a spirit box session. Um, this is what it looks like. I do believe that this cemetery is a family cemetery which was started in the 1700s. And as you can see, quite a few of the graves have been vandalized, which is a terrible thing. So can completely understand why they do have a lock um, that's terrible. I don't understand why anybody would do that. It's disrespectful and I just, I don't get it. Alright guys, so we are going to go ahead and pull out the spirit box and we're going to do a, a quick spirit box session and see if anyone wants to talk to us. It's kind of interesting. We were just getting ready to um, turn on the spirit box and it looks like here might be part of a gravestone as well as well as that one so i don't know we're going to go ahead and turn on the spirit box and see if anyone wants to talk to us today lisa's getting it all fired up okay spirits we come in peace and we just wanted to get some information if you guys want to talk to us about this cemetery and um if any of you are buried here or anybody want to just tell us about it uh, i do oh thank you what is your name what do you want to tell us? Pray. Leave. There's a story about a, a Dracula story here. Is that true? What? Is there a story about Dracula? Is that true? Is this actually the location of Dracula's grave? Yeah. What did you want to tell us about the cemetery? Did I say Dracula? Did you say Dracula? Is that just a myth? What can you tell us about why these some of these graves have been vandalized? Who, who did that? I'm looking at your cemetery and it makes me very sad because so many of these stones have been knocked over, which is really heartbreaking. They are. They're really I'm sorry about that. I wish we could help fix it up. Some of them are really big, too. Yeah, it would take a lot to knock those over. Who did that? Is it safe? Is it safe here? Did you own land here? I know the majority of you have the same last name. Can you tell us that name? Who was the first person that was buried here? Oh, I hear a dog. We gotta go. I do too. 
Okay. Yeah, come on. Come on. So, so change of plans, guys. We heard a dog barking not too far. There's some farms around here, so get in the car and it's a little safer here. But we we did want to find out from the spirits what's what's up here. If this is dangerous. Are there dogs here? Are there bad people here? Were the was the dog coming after us? I had one of my bad feelings. I felt like we needed to go, so. Is it an attack dog? A bad dog? I get I want you to tell us everything that you want to say to us and we won't interrupt you. Outside? Yeah. Sounds like a dog. Uh. Are there bad spirits here? What's the name of the bad spirit? Should, should we leave? Did people were people kill, were people killed in this area? Bad land owners here? Plantation owners? I heard yes, NC. I think it said before the Civil War ended. Oh. I'm sure they had slaves here. I guarantee it. Oh, yeah. This might have even been part of Lay's land. Lay, did you own this land? Weird bugs. I don't know. It's uh, it's like mosquitoes or what? It's cold though. Why does it why does it feel so creepy here? It's definitely very eerie here. Mm-hmm. Why is it? Why are we feeling bad energy here? There, are you stuck? Or are there any spirits that are stuck here? See these weird bugs? Yeah, I see them. They look like mosquitoes. They're not though. <laughs> Alright guys, so kind of get a bad feeling like we need to be rolling out of here, but maybe we'll try to find another location to take you guys to for a few minutes because I know this is going to be a shorter video, but I don't know. You know, when it comes to our safety, we always have to take our safety seriously. 
And I know you guys would want us to do the same. So we're going to get up out of here. All right. We're going to end this session, you guys. Thank you. And talk to you later. Rest in peace. Yeah. So serene. Wow, check this out guys. This is obviously abandoned. Looks like it may have been involved in a fire, but wow. Man, like total demolition there. That's like a tornado too or something. Crazy. I don't know all knocked through. Yeah. It's just destroyed. All right, guys. So currently we are at, um, I know there's quite a few of them. We're at Crybaby Bridge. This is in Westminster, Maryland. So we thought we would just stop out here. This is really close to that other cemetery where we just were visiting. Um, we're gonna just see if we can get some EVPs. Definitely you get kind of a creepy vibe here. So let's see if anybody wants to talk to us. All right, so I wanna know what you can tell me about this bridge. <laughs> baby, I think I heard, I think I heard baby. Was there, was there a baby thrown off? Was there a baby thrown off this bridge? <laughs> Wow, I heard baby a couple times. Um, who did this? Hunter. Hunter. What was the baby's name? How old was the baby? Is this bridge haunted? You want to tell us anything about the bridge? a name wow that was intense what do you want okay go ahead how many spirits are here talking to us right now Are you stuck here? Can you move on to the light? I'm feeling a little bit of a tightness in my chest. Me too. I felt a little bit of a here. 
So this is not the first time that we've been here. We've actually been here one other time. And afterwards, Lisa was pretty exhausted for a couple of days, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I, I was like, I don't say ill, Ill, but I just didn't feel well. Yeah, and I, I just noticed I'm starting to feel like a tightness in my chest. Mm -hmm, like right here. Just and uh, Lisa said she's feeling the same thing. So we're probably not going to hang around here too much longer. Um, is, there, is there anything else that you want to say to us? Is, why are we feeling a tightness in our chest? Lay. Hey, Lay. Are you, Lay, are you protecting us? I heard yes. That was his spirit guide. Lay, can you, can you get rid of the bad spirits here? Ken. Ken. All right, thank you, Lay. Thank you, Lay. That would be great. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to get like heart palpitations mm -hmm. and uh, I know my hands very shaky all of a sudden and achy. Okay. All right, spirits, we we're feeling some bad energy here, and we want to go where there's good energy. So if you want to tell us anything, we're we're going to finish up our session. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and say our protection prayer okay. while we have the spirit box on. That's a good idea. Yeah, we always like to say a protection prayer um, to keep away the bad spirits. I'm trying to find it now. Is there anything else you want to tell us? Oh, I screenshotted it on your phone. Oh, we'll have to well, say we it could just say it's fine. Alright. We're going to go ahead and close out the spirit box session, but thank you guys for talking to us. Is there, any, is there anything that you'd like to say before we turn? Okay. turn? Thanks. You're welcome. We'll, we'll probably be back once we uh, clear the energy out of here. Yeah. Okay. We wish you all well. Rest in peace. And we're going to close this out. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and say the protection uh, prayer real quick um, to close all this out. Oh, here so, it is. okay, here we go. You want me to do it? Yeah. All right. Lord Jesus, you are a shield around us, strong in love heavy in power we fear no evil for you watch over us defend us we put our trust in you amen, amen. that's a great prayer i like how it's short and sweet but gets right to the point yeah that's pretty awesome and they know you're not susceptible to them they're, yeah they try <laughs> creepsters definitely creepsters